Is that paint? Okay, right. it's a crude representation of score. What? It's a crude representation of scorched writhing spider. Oh. If this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be a handy thing to have. Two of that box. It's another one of those weird things. I'm definitely not touching that. What the fuck? I'm gonna have a little look around before I decide to touch anything like that. Lock from the other side. That does that mean there's something still inside? I can hear chattering. Thank God. I've jotted down a note just in case. There's a locked door with odd, no odd noises coming from behind it in storage. Oh no, what's the matter if I if and when I touch that thing? That's locked. Oh god. I really don't want to touch this thing. I have to. It, w it was different but the same that time. Like I had more control, but over what? A storage crate for transporting ore, I suppose. There's a draft coming from the base. Please just smash. This is a draft coming from it. You see, it moves a little bit. Find a key. Maybe if I'm standing up. Oh. Oh. Okay. But 
father wants me to take all this shit out of it or fill it up so it will fall through. deeper now. What the fuck? Something got now. as if this basement's caved in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently though. Christ, what sort of creatures make these markings? Oh god. What? No one likes spiders. It's a ladder. Stuff moving behind me, just fucking get over it. Oh, that's fantastic. The fuck? Horrible sight. Luckily, it's mum fight, or else the smell would have been awful. Oh, please don't move. Day one, I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be scientific value. Despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous, my aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives and to that end I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive and that those are hard from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here. And now 30 years on fate has struck again. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid and I have found only danger. I approached old living quarters but curiously couldn't find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seemed to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat. I wanted to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door which a door leading to a smaller disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area I discovered this storeroom and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learnt, I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged eight beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. 
Any known venom, venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I've had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I've discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. For four days now, I've been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled at me once more when the batteries in my torch died and I made a second life-saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and I will have attracted enough of the beast for a rather hearty meal. The fuck?